Morning guys, uh, welcome down to another video. Unfortunately today we had planned to go up to the Lake District and do the Blencafra group but um, en route we got to Junction 36 or 37 and um, it was just compact snow and ice on the motorway. It's sleeting uh, and it was freezing as it hit the ground so there was only one lane that had been driven in. The, out, the outside two lanes were completely covered in snow so we decided it just wasn't safe to carry on not only did we know if we get there we'd, we'd have no idea what the mountain was like when we got there and if we'd be able to get back so we just said might not be safe let's do the, the clever thing turn around and find somewhere else to go so we've come here to Rivington I mean somewhere close to us and we've both been here many times so we feel safe in the area so we're gonna go and have a walk up here show you around here and have a little Christmas special so Merry Christmas and come with us right so Phil's here now hello Christmas special Merry Christmas Phil oh he's the elf oh he's the elf I'm Santa he's the elf there's no jokes in there it's just the way it is um, so yeah as I just said too dangerous to carry on driving on the motorway though. What do you reckon, Phil? Yeah? Yeah. Right yeah, decision. It's a sensible, sensible decision. It was just, it was turning to snow. It was deep snow at 37. And it was only getting worse out of the motorway we went up. So we made the conscious decision to turn round, live to fight another day. And we've come up here. I mean, compact snow and ice here. So we'll bring you back in once we've gained a little bit of altitude, a little bit of height. We got something to look at. Well, guys, I don't know if you can see that there. It's the uh, Chinese gardens, Phil. Yep. This is the Chinese gardens at Rivington. If you get a chance to come up here, it is really pretty. So today we're testing out this um, GoPro Hero 9. Uh, looking at some new kit to replace the iPhone that I obviously film my videos on now. So you'll have to get in the comments and let me know what this video is like. It's really easy to use as voice commands, which makes the whole process a lot easier to do. So I'd like to uh, thank Neil Marsh only does it letting us uh, try it out cheers neil merry christmas to you pal and uh yeah get in the comments and let us know what you think of the uh the footage and we'll bring you back further up So you can just see, or you may not be able to see, Rivington Tower just at the top of this hill. That's where we're going to head now, so I'll flip you around and bring you back to that. It's now a little bit windy up here guys, so I'm hoping it's going to give us an idea of how the, how the sound is, the audio with the uh, dead cattle and stuff. I'm gonna flip you around, look behind me. Clearing up, getting some views, guys. Getting some views, I'll show you that. So, we're clearing up over there would be Bolton's University football ground, the old Reebok, heading down that way. Stunning. Clearing up, getting some views. There's the elf, Phil. But complete white out behind him where we're heading. So let's see how we go. Right, we're trying these out now. Some big spikes, man. Yeah, so Phil got these crampons from Amazon, less than 20 quid, about 18 pounds.
Right, so we've just come through the gate and we're off to find the uh, the masts and the trig point. But as you can see, you can't really see much past Phil. Complete whiteout up here. So if we don't make it back, you know, Merry Christmas everyone. Just look at the amazing views. To be fair, it's definitely a winter special, isn't it? Christmas special in the snow. No, it's a Christmas special, so, uh, you know, I hope everyone's prepared for Christmas. No one's stressing out about it because you know what we do, we put too much pressure on ourselves at Christmas and we worry about, uh, you know, the wrong thing, the commercial thing. Have we spent enough money on our kids? You see these people who put the sofas full of presents, have I bought enough presents for the present pile to put on social media? Well, you know, don't think like that. Christmas is about family and friends and uh, spending time with the people you love. So don't put pressure, pressure on yourselves. And get out walking in the snow, I feel. Making snow angels. Yeah, so pretty much visibility is quite low. I think you didn't trust me that I knew where I was going. I didn't trust him that I knew where he was going. So I made him check the map and we were exactly on route. So I apologise for that, Phil. Yeah, so we've uh, hit this um, mast. We'll not be able to see to the top of it because of the visibility, but there you go. Oh! I'll probably uh, stick on the screen now. How tall this mast actually is. Yeah, so if you can read that, George Henderson. Nine, 1838. 20th year of his age. How sad's that? RIP George. Ah, so Phil's just informed me that uh, there's a, some, a plane crash wreckage up here that we filled with concrete, so I don't know if that's part of it, but I believe there's a sign over there, so we're going to have a pile through this thick snot. And here's the uh, memory from the death. 35 members of the motor trade from the Isle of Man, whose Bristol wafer crashed near this plaque. 27th of February 1958. Ah, so sad. Yes, Bill. Wind's changed direction. Wind's changed direction, he says. So here we are, a trick point. I don't care what anyone says. You got a lot of a trick Doesn't point. matter how high up you are, everyone loves to touch a trick point. Everyone, so here we go. Let's get hands on this. It's a very icy trick point. Well done, bud. Almost treacherous. Well done in survey. The guys, legends. Right, why we use hot bath? <laughs> yeah, we were discussing stopping here and having a beer but i think it's a bit windy for that mate you're not having that yeah it's, so it's a good test of the uh, dead cat though isn't it this should be a good test of the dead cat so if the audio is good here because it is really windy so if the audio is clear here then you know it's a good indication that this is something i might have to look into buying so let's get out of this wind let's get a bit lower Go and find somewhere to have a beer. Oh my word. Phil has just found the bog. Remnants of it, look at him here. Oh no. He's absolutely gone. 
knee deep here. Phil. How'd you feel, brother? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm just cleaning. Unfortunately, you didn't see that, but it was funny. Right, guys. <laughs> Woo. Things have took a turn for the worse here. It's gone a bit grim. We've had to stop there to just grab a sandwich. So we're freezing to death, starving, and uh, it's got mad cold. Fingers are dropping off here, and uh, we seem to be a long way from anywhere. So we're going to put the foot down and try and get out of this fucking whiteout wasteland. Oh, well, we're finally off the moor. That was, um, <coughs> was got a bit hurry at, the, for, at one point there, quite cold. And um, very wet. Very wet and cold. Tried to, we stopped to change the battery in the GoPro and I'll grab a sandwich. And that was the second it decided to rain. So yeah. we got, got cold and wet, but and I decided to change my jacket as well. So we, uh, we're off the moor now, and we're gonna go and find a little spot where we can sample some IPA for Christmas. So, next one is IPA time. Right. Welcome to our Christmas special, Winter Hill beer review. So today we've got, just chilling there in its ice pocket, the Buxton Brewery, 50-50 IPA. So, I'm gonna crack this open and give it a try. See what it's about. Ooh. Is that because it's too cold to touch metal stick? Yeah. <laughs> Very citrusy. Very citrusy. Oh, it's like a, there's a citrus point. It's like a lemonade, isn't it? Real citrusy. Robin. It's good that. Sort of like lemon. Orange. Yeah. Citrus, lemon orange, really like citrusy. That. Yeah. Right, let's try it then. Oh yeah, it's good. It's got that. That hoppiness in the background though, isn't it? Yeah. That, that bit of a bitter note. 50 50, eh? US UK hot blend IPA. Yeah, yeah. so this is 5.5, .5. so not mental, but uh, it's not weak by any stretch of the imagination. So that is the uh, Buxton Brewery 50 50 IPA. It's a good drop. I um, bet it's even better with some air. Some bar snacks. Some beer nuts. Do you want some crisps? Yeah, go on, mate. Do that. So I'm gonna go. I could drink that. Like I could drink. That's I could go out and drink that in the daytime. Yeah, that's my kind of beer. If I was at a bar, I'd go with that. I'm gonna go. 8.4. That's high that. 8.4 out of 10. Quite high, but I'd, I'd, I'd come down almost one, 7.5. 7.5? Maybe I'm too over uh, positive, I don't know. All my beer reviews seem to be like really, really high or absolutely zero. So, yep, yeah. so that was the Buxton Brewery 50-50 IPA recommended for us for you to go and try. So cheers, Merry Christmas. Cheers, buddy. Thank you for bringing the beer. <laughs> oh. Right then. So that's us almost back at the car, really. So um, we're going to nip into the pub on the way home because we have to uh, transfer the files onto my phone. And we might even sneak back for a second beer review. So uh, <coughs> we'll bring you back in the pub. <laughs>